Naughty, naughty, naughty. You need a good spanking. Enter the world of Fetish Fridays. Spanking is one of the more commonly enjoyed fetishes. It varies from very basic to much more extreme. And people enjoy spanking for a massive range of reasons. It's also more than a physical act sometimes. Lots of people enjoy the exchange of power from a dominant to a submissive and find that taking on the submissive role is quite liberating. Many people that enjoy spanking argue that it's not the feeling of pain that brings the pleasure, but just the extreme feeling itself. When you spank, you get a rush of endorphins and a release of adrenaline, so it can be very pleasurable to both the giver and the receiver. There's a fine line between pain and pleasure though. Apparently, when used together simultaneously, the experience can be truly amazing. Spanking is also used to increase skin sensitivity because it brings blood to the surface and that can increase the body sensitivity to other stimulations. There are tons of different types of spanking toys. Floggers have tails that will leave small stings on the skin. These vary from gentle to harsh depending on the material and the weight of the tails. So a suede flogger will be lighter than a leather flogger. Riding crops have a signature loop on the end of a thin cane and will leave a quick sting on the skin. Now these are relatively tame whips, but a few lashes on these will certainly leave you pink. For a longer lasting thump, paddles and tool spankers are ideal. Paddles are larger and heavier and tool spankers are similar but have one or two separate fingers. These definitely will leave a more intense sting on the skin. Whips provide a range of different lash sensations because of the variety in length and width. A long thin whip will give you a short sharp sting whereas a shorter whip will give you a lasting ache but a stronger lash. Canes are a thin and slightly flexible rod. They leave a lasting sting. They're probably one of the more extreme spanking tools so only for the experienced user. We recommend building up to a cane rather than jumping straight in. If you're new to spanking or you don't like the idea of a whip or a cane then fear not, there is a more suitable spanking tool for you. Introducing your hand. Maybe even the best spanking tool because you can control the strength and force with more precision, meaning you're less likely to do any damage. When indulging in fetish, always remember the three golden rules. Keep it safe, sane and consensual people. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. This girl is not for the turn hunter. <coughs>